scientists analyzing data gathered by Kepler, which NASA retired in November 2018, just found a hidden gem, an Earth-sized world that may be capable of supporting life as we know it. The exoplanet, Kepler 1649c, circles a red dwarf star that lies 300 light-years from Earth. A new study reports, Kepler 1649c completes one orbit every 19.5 Earth days, putting the alien planet in its host star's habitable zone, the just right range of distances where liquid water could exist on a world's surface. Because red dwarfs are so dim, their habitable zones lie quite close. Kepler hunted for planets using the transit method, monitoring stars for tiny brightness dips, caused by planets crossing their faces from the spacecraft's perspective. Kepler did this in two phases, on its main mission, which lasted until 2013, and during an extended mission called K2, which wrapped up 17 months ago when the spacecraft ran out of fuel. Both of these campaigns were very successful. Kepler spotted about two-thirds of the 4,100 confirmed exoplanets that astronomers have discovered to date. The spacecraft's observations suggest that 20 to 25 percent of the 200 billion or so stars in the Milky Way galaxy host rocky worlds in the habitable zone. That's a lot of potentially life-supporting real estate. Kepler's huge data set will keep astronomers occupied for years. Some of this work involves double-checking, trying to dig up bona fide planets that previous fitting software had mislabeled as false positives. And there are many false positives in the Kepler data, because lots of things other than orbiting planets can cause stellar brightness dips. Kepler 1649c is just 1.06 times the size of Earth, and get 75% of the stellar energy influx that our planet gets from the Sun. This combination of characteristics makes the newfound world quite special indeed. Kepler 1649c has a neighboring planet, Kepler 1649b, which orbits the red dwarf at about half the distance and is thus probably too hot to support life as we know it. And Kepler 1649c's True habitability prospects are tough to gauge. Astronomers know nothing about its atmosphere, for example, and the composition and thickness of the worlds there are strongly tied to its temperature and ability to maintain surface water in the liquid phase. In addition, red dwarfs unleash powerful flares frequently, especially in their youth, so planets in their habitable zones may get their atmospheres stripped relatively quickly. But red dwarfs are incredibly common, making up about 70% of the Milky Way's stellar population. So it's easy, and quite tempting, to imagine, that conditions conducive to Earth-like life, have cropped up on at least a few of their host worlds. The more data we get, the more signs we see pointing to the notion that potentially habitable and Earth-sized exoplanets are common around these kinds of stars, study lead author Andrew Vanderberg, a researcher at the University of Texas at Austin, said in the same statement. As red dwarfs are the most common stars, the chances of Earth-type planets orbiting them are very high. Out of the trillions of stars in the universe, Earth-like planets will be vast and varied with every type of life that you could possibly imagine. I hope you have liked this video and has given you something new to think about and a little escape from our Earth suffering from a pandemic. Please, don't forget to like and subscribe.